The real unique point about product design engineering at Swinburne is that it combines industrial design and engineering. Most importantly, it combines those in the same subjects. So there are, there are design subjects where students are expected to apply engineering and design at the same time. And typically that doesn't happen in, a, in, in well, any other degree, uh, in Australia at least. You can like draw whatever you want and imagine whatever you want, but you need to know how you're going to manufacture it and you need to know what materials you can use or what limitations there are. The environmental impact producing the product can have and all those sort of elements. And also safety concerns, technical concerns, all those elements that sort of having that engineering knowledge and background is like so helpful when um, creating a product. Swinburne I found to be a more practical university. I really enjoyed the atmosphere. When I came to Swinburne Open Days, I always was kind of greeted with people who were genuinely interested in me and wanted to kind of know about me, not just about what subjects I did and how well I'm doing and all of that. One of the things I loved about doing my course is that it's so broad what you can do with it afterwards. The skills that you learn are so valuable that you can almost walk into any place and say, I could do this, I could do this, I can do this, and I can help you out. You need me. I think students, when they're looking at going to university, might be under the impression that either they go down a very technical path and they have to leave behind the, uh, the creative subjects, or vice versa, they go down a creative path but they forget about the technical stuff. And, yeah, I guess the advice would be that you don't have to choose and, and that there's a lot of potential for combining those two. So, you know, you don't have to be just a designer or just an engineer, you can be a, a product design engineer. <laughs> That's too much. <laughs>